Hello and welcome to ET Garage. I want to thank everybody that subscribed so far. If you haven't, go down there and subscribe, like, share, do me a favor and do that. I'm really, really close to being uh, monetized. So that would help me a lot, especially with all these projects uh, that I do. And I hope they're helpful to you too, what I'm sharing with you. Um, this is going to be a follow-up video to uh, the instrument cluster. I sent that out to BayT.com. I'll leave a link in the description down there. I want to give a big shout out to them. They always, uh, I've been following, seeing posts about them on the forums, and I think I've had stuff, gotten stuff from them before or had work done. I can't even remember. This is the first time I had my instrument cluster done, and uh, I mentioned them, and they actually gave me a 25% discount, which helps me a lot because I'm on a tight budget. So uh, I want to give a big shout out to them for that. I'm not associated with any of the products that I use, so uh, that's, a, that's a big help. Uh, the only time I ever got any products from anyone was super clean. Uh, I did a re they sent me a bunch of stuff to do a re review on. And uh, if you want, you can look through my videos. Anyway, today's video, like I said, is going to be about the instrument cluster. Uh, I sent it out to them. They fixed it and got it back to me really quick. It's actually earlier in the week I got it back. And uh, let me get you a closer up view. And when they shipped it back, they shipped it in this really nice uh, static clean uh, or st uh, anti-static bag, I think they're called, or static shielding bag. That's what it's called. And uh, they offered to replace this. I think they wanted thirty dollars, and they would have replaced it for free. And I, I should have went ahead and did that. I'm sorry I didn't. So if they offered to do that, and yours is old as mine, go ahead and have it done. Anyway, I'm going to clean it up, and like I said, I need to do a plastic repair. And I broke this tab off. Well, I guess, or it broke off. Whichever way you want to look at it, it broke off when I was removing it. And I'm going to uh, use, for the first time, I've used JB Weld products before. This is the first time using their plastic bonder. They have like three different versions. One's a five-minute version, which, bond, which sets up in five minutes, but uh, it doesn't have the strength of this one. This one's structural plastic adhesive. 3,770 PSI strength sets up in 15 minutes, sand in 30 minutes, dries tan, which is perfect for this. And uh, anyway, uh, he's, I'll try and show you some of the pictures like he does before and after pictures. He fixed the tack. Uh, I believe he replaced the bulb too for me in the uh, seatbelt one. Uh, and uh, another problem I was having with the oil temp. This oil temp, and my suspicion was before I sent it out that it's a sending unit. And I've replaced the sending unit a couple of times. All the sending new sending units that are out there don't work correctly. What will happen is it will, as, your, as the engine oil warms up, it will come up about an eighth inch. And then the unit just goes wonkers and goes all the way full blast. Uh, and that is the sending unit's fault. Not the instrument panel. He tested it. It tested fine. Uh, he also replaced the uh, the film inside there. Mine was good, but he said it was about 50% faded. So, and I always I was having a hard time reading it in bright daylight. So I'm hoping this helps a lot. I believe he was, like I said, I also believe he replaced the bulb for the seat belt, which was mi actually missing. Uh, so an out of tack should read accurate. It was way off before, even though it worked. Well, the history behind this is when I first got the car many years ago, the tack, these tacks are known they just go right, they just go full send to 6,000 or they just drop to zero. This one was at full send. Be going down the highway uh, 55, 65 miles an hour and a tack would be all the way past 6,000 RPM. And, uh, at that time, there's this guy in Philadelphia who uh, said he'd fix it for fifty dollars. So I sent it to him. He soldered in some resistors, and it worked. It worked great all this time, but it was way off. It was reading way low. So uh, he replaced. As far as I know, he replaced. There's an IC unit in there. If you go to his website, you go. You can look at all that stuff, and you can go into detail. You can buy a kit for everything that. You need to repair this yourself if you want to do that and save yourself some money or send it to him. I prefer to send it to him and it was worth it. So uh, I'm happy uh, I did that. 
And uh, like I said, I need to get this all cleaned up, get that repaired. And while we're on the subject, well, I had the steering wheel out. I gave it a recoat. Like, this is really worn. And you can see where it's worn there. And this was used to be all brown here when I first got it. And I used this product here. And uh, I gave it a recoat with that. And I'm also going to do a little repair on this. Now, probably I'd probably be better off getting this from... Uh, from uh, you know one of the Corvette part suppliers, like uh, I can't think of their name, but I'll leave a link somewhere up here. Um, they're one of the better ones that I use all the time. I could probably get a used one in really nice shape, and you might be able to get these new. But uh, I should have got a new one of these too. But I'm gonna clean it up, and uh, if I don't like it, then I'll order another one. I guess order a new one. But anyway, I'm going to get on with this repair. I'm going to get it in the car. I'm going to get it all together. I'm not going to go into detail, real detail about doing it. Basically, this just plugs right in. You put the screws in, hopefully without breaking the tab like I did when I took it out. Uh, then uh, test it. And uh, then after that, I'll put everything else back together. Now, uh, the reason I have my steering wheel off is because if you watched, I'll leave a link up here. I went and fixed the... Uh, tilt steering wheel these are infamous for getting play in them and i fixed that uh so that's all ready to go back together and then i gotta put of course the hush panel and the uh kick panel all back in that's probably in my opinion the hardest part is putting that kick panels and hush panel back in that's a pain in the butt but uh let me get on with it Okay, this tab is set. It feels like it's on there really good. I went and sanded the back side. I ain't too worried about the oops, I dropped the thing. And I'm too worried about that front side. The screw's gonna go there. The back side I want flat so it sits flush. I really wish I went and ordered the uh listen to Bay T and ordered that uh new bezel there, that plastic lens. But uh what I'm gonna do for now is uh take it out in the garage. Put it in the car, test it, and we'll see how everything works. Uh, one thing I have to say about this JB Well Plastic Bonder, it did not set up in 15 minutes. It was well over an hour for that to set up. And I went and redid this. See, I got that big glob on the back. I actually got modeling clay underneath to, to help form it. And uh, I'll probably go to uh, Mirac Corvette and see if he has another one. Too. Maybe I'll just do that. That's the only thing really wrong with this though. It's in really other than that's a nice shape uh, So I might just go ahead and save myself a few bucks see if that stuff sets up. It's still setting up I had to redo it If I have to I'll take that all off try another mix and do that But for now I'm gonna get that out in the car test it. I want to get these I want to take the car out and test drive it uh, I just want to see how it feels with the steering column fixed and with the uh, NOLA gauges working uh, so I'll probably bolt that in and I want to put the uh, hush panel in and maybe that's all I'll do for now I'll take it for a test drive you know put, the, put this in get the steering column up the steering wheel on the airbag on hook up the uh, the hush panel because that's actually a structural part of the uh, dashboard so I'd rather go through that extra trouble to install that. So let me get upstairs to the uh, and outside to the garage. I got heat going on out there. I, I don't want to be out there tomorrow. It's going to be zero degrees. Even with heat in the garage, it's just going to be cold. So let me get going. Okay, I'm outside. I warmed the car up a little bit. And uh, I got the instrument in. I got the steering wheel on. I didn't put the... Uh, kick panel back in 
And that's because I'm still going, I'm gonna go ahead and replace this, which means I need to drop the steering wheel again. I did put the uh, hush panel in because that is a structural place, uh, part of the, the dash. And I wanna take it for a drive. I don't want things moving all the way around. But uh, I already tested it, everything works uh, like it's supposed to. You can see my seat light bulb, which I had taken that out a long time ago because it will come on if your inflatable restra uh, restraint or the airbag isn't functioning properly. Properly, when I first got this, that needed to be fixed, and now that it's fixed and the seatbelts uh, wiring is fixed, everything works like it's supposed to. Uh, Cobwebs out of it. Been sitting a while, and uh, I can tell you right now the tack and all the gauges are working. Of course, my oil temperature gauge will not work correctly because of the sensor. It'll only go up that little bit. I actually stuck a resistor inside the sensor because without it, it would go up a little bit as it warmed up, and then it would just peg. And that's the sensor. BT tested the sensor, and it's good. And he tested everything else, and he replaced that film, so that's brighter too. But uh, I can tell just the way the tack's moving and everything, it's, uh, everything's where it's supposed to be. So that's good. I'm happy. Uh, this turned out to be a good experience. Oh, if BT uh, suggests replacing this uh, plastic lens, go ahead and listen to him. Don't be like me. Uh, like I said, I left the uh, plastic trim piece off. I left the kick panel off. And the reason I did that is I plan on uh, ordering a new lens. And I may order another uh, plastic diesel that goes around here. I don't know yet. Or so I'll try and repair that one first. There's nothing really wrong except the where the screw goes through to one hole is busted out. And I, uh, I epoxy that with that JB Weld plastic stuff. So uh, I'll let that set up overnight and then I'll uh, see how that comes out. But uh, Anyway, I'm going to go for a test drive. I'm just going to go up on the interstate. There's snow and stuff all over the place. Another storm's supposed to be coming, and tomorrow it's supposed to be like zero degrees. So I want everybody to have a great day. I hope the film, uh, this video was helpful, and uh, God bless.